Fly Jump. We're here today with Paul Reynolds. Hi. Managing Director of McGovern Online. Thanks for being with us, Paul. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, before we actually pick your brains about social mm. media, can you tell us a little bit about what McGovern Online does? Yeah, for sure. Um, as the Joint Managing Director, there's joint, another right. Managing Director, Helen, Helen Smith. So we're a full-service new media company who've been in business for what seems like a long time. It's about 12 years now, so we're kind of one of the original web shops. What use do you think social media is? It's kind of brought to life all that stuff that we thought was going to happen the first time around. Yeah. So like social media, web 2, for me web 2 is this time around we all really do get to play as opposed yeah. to the promise that we would all get to play. Right. The first time around we were all supposed to get, you know, we all, Santa Claus brought us the web and we were all supposed to play. Mm -hmm. Well, it wouldn't quite work like that, but now social media, we can all play. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. So, do you blog? Oh. Yeah, I do, I, I blog. <laughs> um, how often do you blog before you answer that? Well, of course you blog, so how, how often? Okay, do I do, the blog is at People Points. It's www.peoplepoints.co.nz. Okay. And it's very much about me trying to think through some of this stuff. Right. So I blog about, it's supposed to be once a week, and sometimes it drips out, and sometimes I do twice, just to make up make for the, the other bits, <laughs> but the, the whole idea is to do it once. Yeah. And I've got, I kind of had a secret blog for about six months last year, oh. but I started this one, People Points, at the beginning of the year, quite deliberately, right. I kind of announced it, you know, to three people, but I announced it, you know, <laughs> it was, um, whereas the first one, uh, last year I was kind of playing with it as I kind of in the background just to see because right. I've got quite strong views about that. I think mm. blogs, the best blogs work when they've got a really clear voice mm. and a lot of kind of guys and possibly watching this I don't know would get that right away because right. it's all about um, any kind of writing, any kind of creative, you know, you've got to work out the voice, who your audience is, what it is you're trying to say and you know, what, how you want to say it, right. so, and for me that's all about voice, and so last, so I've played with different voices, you know, I've played with the stream of consciousness voice, I've played with, um, it's got really boring after a while, you know, yeah. um, both the writing and, I mean reading is always boring, but you know, for yeah. that kind of, that kind of voice, but, oh not always, but it's very difficult to do a stream of consciousness blog that mm. effectively. <coughs> and then I did the um, earlier day cryptic about town, you know, sort of uh, <laughs> reviewing books and, 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 and uh, stuff I've movies I've been to and all the rest of it. And that was quite good fun. This is okay. still last year when I'm playing. Right. right. And I'm going, yeah, this is interesting. I might get some free books or free stuff, but but it's not. It was no. It wasn't connected. You know, there's no wheel. Yeah. You know, and the wheel has to connect to the other wheel. Right. So it took a while. It took a while. Well, you need to just play. You need to sort of. I think you need to play so that you get that really strong sense of why you're doing this. Yeah. Um, and then that's what I mean by the wheel. Mm. And for me, it was like, would you just stop? You know, fanning about here, and there's stuff to say. You know, about the world I'm in. There's a lot to say about this. Yeah. Um, and if I mean it about McGovern Online being a real contributor to the arts cultural kind of world then we need to start talking about that we need to do it properly and I, and you know i need if i'm going to blog about this then yeah. get to work right and that for me was first you know 5th of january 2007 was okay let's get to work right. okay did it take a while for you to finally get that sort of connection like yeah. you mentioned you sort of played a little while yeah six months six maybe. months yeah. that's interesting what would you say to organisations that are a little sort of iffy and not sure about blogging? Well, it's interesting because if we're talking about people, then it's all about voice. But if you're talking about organisations, it gets so you get one, one more there's one more complication there. Yeah. Some of the uh, group blogs, and I'm thinking of some of the public library blogs, like Crisis Public Library, they do a blog. Um, there's about four or five of them, different authors on that. Um, I can think of two or three other places who do that kind of stuff. I don't think organisations should blog. I think people in organisations should blog. 
Okay. Lisa, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's say there's like a big corporation like yeah. you know, Microsoft, IBM. Yeah, yeah. So who would who would be an ideal person in an organization to to blog if there's so many? Well, because yeah. anyone who's got something to say, you know, I mean, Microsoft New Zealand. Yeah. See, Microsoft's a big organization, but mm. it lives in countries, and you know, the people who work and you know have kids who go to school. You know, I mean, I'm not yeah. being facetious, but yeah, anyway. Yeah. We've got to break down this big Microsoft bogey and take it right down. Right. Um, one of the best blogs that I like to read happens to be a Microsoft guy, and his mm. name is Nigel Parker, and, okay. he, and he's in New Zealand. And sure, he writes about a lot of Microsoft stuff, mm. but he's a developer, so he's kind of exploring and exposing his passion. Right. So the fact that he works for Microsoft is important. You can see that on the blog. Right. But it isn't why he's doing it. He's doing it because he's on his own journey, you know, that kind of thing. And I think that's what it's about. Right. And for organisations to answer the question more directly is, it's about identifying people, it could be everyone, but I suspect that would be a failure, yeah. is to listen to people who want to do that, maybe shoulder tap some people that you've identified and say, We'd like you to, had you thought about this, or when somebody comes up and says, I want to do a blog, have you got any great objections? Right. Then you have a conversation about that, you know, about what it is they're going to be saying. Because blogs are about a conversation. Yeah, exactly. What about the, <coughs> say for example, that the brand or PR people that don't want to sort of, you know, sort of lose that control of it? What would be some of the things, or, or advice, or, or some of the things that they need to look out for? Get over yourself. Good. That would be my first piece of advice, to yeah. get over yourself. Brand is, is really important, yeah? Mm -hmm. But brand is really an identity, you know, and it's a few, it has a whole bunch of assets, you know, which wrap that identity in a common set of values and story and all that kind of stuff. Right. So, the marketing managers and all the rest of it, sure that they are They've got a really key role around that brand identity, but it's not theirs. Right. The brand belongs to the company, to the organization. So you've got to be able to trust people to have a conversation on the blog and, and start thinking about it. And if, they, if they're going off the rails, well, have a conversation or whatever, you know. Have, but you can't, I've seen people, I've seen blogs where the marketing, I've seen blogs start off, and I, I can think of two in particular, which I won't name, but they're, okay. Well, the people doing it started off really well, and then marketing came along and insisted that the logo had to go there, and this had to go there, and that tagline had to be moved out of the way so that they could put this here, right. and it was a disaster. Because okay. it just suddenly looked like somebody was just in charge, and, right. and it wasn't the guy who was writing, mm. and you think, whoa, what's going on here? Mm. And it lost readership, yeah. because the vitality went. It's like the guy who's trying to write it, write the blog, yeah, is, yeah. is struggling to be heard. He's surrounded by all these other messages. Well, excuse me, it's his message, it's his blog. You know, why are you cluttering up his space with all these other messages? Why yeah. don't you just leave him alone? Yeah. That was part one of Marie's interview with Paul Reynolds from McGovern Online. Tune in next week and hear him talk about Generation X's dark secret. In the meantime, you can subscribe to Jump In as a video podcast and be sure you get the latest episode every week. Jump In is part of the Blueberry Podcast Network. Find out more at blueberrynoes.com.